Here we are. We're on the set of The Vampire Diaries with Mr. Ian Summerhalder. How are we you, We are sir? in a 1920s speakeasy. It's a very sexy new set. It's a beautiful new set, man. This is amazing. I mean, you can't tell because it's not lit and dressed properly, but it's pretty awesome. So I was actually really bummed I didn't get to be in the 1920s stuff. Well, I was going to ask you, you. We know we're going back to the 1920s with Stefan. And have you put a, any thought into sort of what's what Damon was up to during that decade and a half? Yes. Or, or decade and a half, century and a half? <laughs> you know, I would yeah, Damon was, yeah, absolutely. Stefan was running around ripping Being the ripper. holes in the ripper. ripper. <laughs> Joseph Morgan gets so mad that we do that. It's like, what? <laughs> the ripper. Ripper. Um, Ste Damon was in Chicago at the time having a blast, but he was, he kind of shied, he kind of stayed away from Stefano. Mm -hmm. Stefan was a little dirty and sloppy, I think. Sloppy? Yeah, he was a little sloppy. Uh-oh. Um, so we're coming off of this, you know, really sweet d moment between Damon and Elena in the series, in the, in the se season finale last year. Uh, this kind of goodbye kiss that ended up not being much of a goodbye. Um, where's Damon at regarding that whole situation? I mean, is he, is he chasing her? You know, I think, oddly enough, I don't know. He's not changing, chasing her. Hmm. I don't think he's chasing her. I think, in a very strange sense, again, as you know this, Dame, he's pissed about what's going on. Mm -hmm. This is not the way he saw his life <laughs> at all. Now he's stuck in Mystic Falls, taking care of Elena. She's 18, so you figure another 70, 75 years he has to stay in this town and watch her. <laughs> now, obviously, she will age and grow up and have a he'll career and a forever. family and all that stuff, but he'll have to be there watching her. So. I think out of circumstance, yeah, they're, they're um, David and Elena. <laughs> Recent, I heard that recently, uh, Delena, mm -hmm. maybe that's what we should call it, <laughs> the Delena Just are... Just use the word. <laughs> we're going to have to cave in and use it. Um, the fans made it, so it's right. we're, we're doing all this for the fans, so I'm going to use their lingo, too. Um, Delena have decided to form a truce and team together for the greater good and, and find Stefan, but they're also finding out about what kind of person Stefan is together. And he's her shoulder to cry on. And he's there for her for the first time. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like the roles have reversed. Damon is becoming more like Stefan and, and vice versa. And um, he's rising to the occasion, which is really sweet and nice. The cool thing, it's very compartmentalized. Stefan and Klaus are together mm -hmm. with Rebecca. And then Damon and Stefan. I mean, Damon and Elena are spending a ton of time together. And I think it's, uh, it's cool. There's a different dynamic. Elena's growing up. She's becoming, she's becoming a stronger woman. And she's old enough to vote. And she's <laughs> old enough to vote. And do plenty of other things. You know, she's old enough to vote. She's old enough to go to war for her country. She's not old enough to buy beer. <laughs> She's not really old enough for Damon either. <laughs> She's only 150 years younger than Damon, okay? <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Are they roommates? Is she still living in the Salvatore mansion? She's back at, at Shea Gilbert. Shea Gilbert. Um, um, it's a shame that she's not at Shea Salvatore, <laughs> but, you know. That would have been a, an odd couple situation. <laughs> it is an odd couple situation. <laughs> um, being that it's the Vampire Diaries, we can assume that Stefan's going to get a lot worse before he gets better, as he as he gets sort of scarier and colder and further into his ripperness. Is that going to push Damon and Elena together more? I don't know if it's going to push them together more. It's going to put them in a bunch of tight spots together. <laughs> you know. They are close. I mean, they're really close. It's just Damon will inexorably always do something to screw it up. He'll hurt yeah. her, he'll kill her brother, he'll burn her house down. Whatever he does, <laughs> he does something that is going to really not allow her to fully be able to comprehend. No, let's scratch that. It's not even about being with Damon. 
Damon is pissed that it's, you know, he can't have this girl. Mm -hmm. A, she doesn't want him, and B, it's his brother's girl. Mm -hmm. So, even Damon's not going to stoop that low. He, he really isn't. So, and he makes, he makes a promise to her that he will help her get his brother back. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's great that they do get to spend time together, because I think that Ste Damon gives Elena things, maybe, that Stefan doesn't necessarily... He makes her smile. It's great to see Elena smile. Mm -hmm. You know, and in and, and, and the course of this, these storylines and sort of how, what she's been through, which is a lot. I mean, this girl has seen more in a year of her life from 17 to 18, especially of the supernatural sense, <laughs> that anyone has ever seen in their lives. Um, and, and I think that it's just made her an infinitely stronger person, and she's growing up. And I think that it's great that they get to spend time together because they they do they do uh, they do care about each other. And he'll never let anything happen to her. Nina, we just talked to Nina, and she said that sort of despite everything that's going on, there's a point where Elena kind of goes screw it and decides she she wants to have some fun. Are, are we going to see some sort of lighter, happier scenes between them this season? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, she she lightens up. She I think again, there's only so much doom and gloom <laughs> that you can you know. There are only so many times she can cry before she goes. You know what? Screw this. I want to smile. Last season, Damon's arc was very much about like being a better man for Elena, and in the finale, she said that she loved him just as he was, or liked him just as he was. I should get that word right. <laughs> what, what's like, his, love. What's no. his journey like this year? I mean, is he is he killing people again? Is he, is he, he trying wants, to be right? He wants to kill people. I mean, he's not this hero guy that he's supposed to be. He doesn't know how to be that guy. He's the guy, you know, when he kills someone, and Lena says, you know, Damon, you can't do that. He says, mm -hmm. I know, but I don't know. This isn't my shtick, man. I mean, I don't, <laughs> seriously, this isn't my thing. Um, so he doesn't want to be this hero he never is going to be this hero if he commits a selfless act and it's to protect Elena it doesn't make him you know, a worldwide hero mm -hmm. but, he, but he does want to protect the people he's closest to and, and that's namely her you know? and, and, and he's going to have to protect her from Stefan <laughs> How does watching Stefan change impact Elena? Is she, does she change? Um, there, yeah. Elena definitely um, grows and changes within the season. It's, it's, it's sort of her coming of age season. And um, she's been very reliant and dependent on the men in her life for a very long time. And now that Stefan's gone, she's, be, and she can't, fully depend on Damon all the time. I mean, he's trying, but he's, he's Damon. Damon. And so it's forcing her to kind of grow up and make her own decisions and fight and become a woman. And so her relationship with herself changes and her relationship with both the guys change. And seeing Stefan and the way he is and what he does, it's kind of like a rude awakening for Elena. Um, it's senior year. Is she going to have any fun ever? Is she going to try? <laughs> um, you know, actually, yeah, she is going to try. There's going to be, like anyone, everyone has their breaking point. So she's going to reach it, and then she's going to just say, F it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. It's